everyone. Today we're going to be learning how to take a paper bowl and with a few things like scissors and yarn, we can turn it into a woven art creation. To create this project, you will need some sort of a paper or styrofoam bowl. This one's made of paper. We have some different colors of yarn and we have a big pair of scissors. To begin, we're going to be cutting from the outside edge all the way down to this part of the seam. We don't want to cut into this circle. We're going to keep this part plain and just be weaving the sides. In order to get the right number for weaving, you're going to choose an odd number. So what you'll do is you'll start from the edge, snip all the way down to the seam and continue cutting around until you have an odd number. I ended with nine pieces. If you're not sure, it's always good to double check. And by counting, you wanna hold the number one. So here's number one cut, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. To begin, choose your first yarn color and unravel a little bit of it. For this project, you can leave the yarn on the ball until you're ready to cut it out. Take the tail of your yarn, put it in between one of the slits, sliding it all the way down to the bottom. If you find a cut where it's not sliding far enough, you can go back with your scissors and cut again. Now hold that in place for the first few so it doesn't come loose. And what you're going to do is you're going to go over, come in between the next slit, go under this piece, so you go out the next slit, and repeat the pattern. So it's over this piece, under this piece. And basically you're just taking the string and we're kind of making an in and out motion. Continue this till you get back to where you started and notice then it's going to force you to continue that same pattern because I just went over this piece and notice there's an over right here. So it works out just fine because now I'm going to go under and I'll have two in a row like this. So watch over this piece, under this piece. And now it's starting to fill in. So where I have these almost like dashes, it's going to create a solid line. And that is the look that we're going for. When you get back to that little tail, you're just gonna cover the tail up and keep going. That's gonna help secure it so it won't come loose on you. Continue going as round as many times as you want with the color you're currently on until you're ready to switch. Every once in a while it's a good idea to look at the back side of the bowl and just kind of scrunch your yarn pieces together so they look nice and clean. Eventually what we're going for, we don't want any of the paper bowl to show on this part of the creation. Now, when you're ready to switch colors, you're gonna cut it off and leave yourself a tail. Pick out your next color that you're gonna use. Unroll a little bit of it. And now we're gonna tie these two tails together. To tie the tails together, you're gonna lay them down next to each other like this. You're going to kind of make them into a rainbow shape. And then take this top part and you're gonna twist it. So it's creating a loop here. Then hand these tails to your fingers inside that loop. Pinch them and pull them through together. And then you can pull them this way to make them really nice and tight. 
and then take this extra little fuzzy bit and trim it off. Okay, and then you're just gonna continue weaving. If you do not like that option, the other option is you can tuck the tail of your current color underneath, just like we did at the beginning, and then start your new color and tuck any ends in underneath. So you decide what's gonna work best for you. Continue weaving your bowl until you get to the top. For the top part, you can decide what you wanna do if you want to just leave this edge as is with the little slits in it, you can. You could finish it by folding or bending these back almost like tabs just to kind of help secure it. It's going to look like that. It will kind of create a rolled edge. You could poke holes with a sharp tool like an awl and then maybe you can sew an edge in like by doing a running stitch over, under, over, under. And I've also seen people braid different yarn pieces and like glue them on the top. So finish the bowl however you want. Hope you enjoy this weaving tutorial.